Hello everyone, my name is Nathan, and here's James, and here's Janetta, and here's Alice, and normally you don't see us like this, but because we can't be in the same rooms as each other at the moment, we thought we would play a little maths game over Zoom, and then maybe you could play it at home, or you could play it over Zoom with people that use Zoom as well. So this game is called Go Fish. Do you all like to eat fish, guys? Yep. James says no. Alice and Jeanette say yes. Well, this game has got nothing to do with eating fish. Don't worry. It's all about numbers. All right. And it's about knowing your number bonds to 10. Now, you could change the game and have it for different numbers if you wanted. But we're going to play the game where you need to know your number bonds to 10. So to play this game, you need a pack of cards. Have you all got packs of cards? Yep. Excellent. Well done. Now, what first thing I need you to do is I need you to take out all of the picture cards. That's the cards with pictures on and take out your number 10s. You don't need your number 10s either. Do you want the aces in? Aces stay in. So 52 cards in a full pack. We're going to take out the picture cards. Be 12 of those and take out the tens. Another four of those. That should leave you with 36 cards if my maths is correct. And then I'd like you to shuffle your cards. That's it. Anyone know any fancy shuffling tricks? No, I don't. Okay, now as I said, in this game we're going to practice our number bonds to 10. So we need to think about pairs of numbers that make 10. James, can you think of two numbers that add together to make 10? Four and six. Four and six, brilliant. Um, Alice, can you think of two different numbers that add together to make 10? Seven and three. Seven, three. Well done. Janetta, you've got the hardest one now. Can you think of two different numbers that add together to make ten? Eight and two. Yes. Well done, guys. So in this game, you need to try and get cards that add together to make ten. All right. So we're going to take you through this step by step. You've got your pack of cards with no picture cards and no number 10s in them. So what I want you to do is to make two piles on the table in front of you. One pile is going to have seven cards in it and the rest of your cards will go in the other pile. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and the rest of the cards in a different pile. Right, you need to pick up your hand of seven cards. All right. Check you've got seven. Check you didn't count incorrectly. The other pile goes face down, and we're going to call it your discard pile or your rubbish pile, your getting rid of pile. Okay? Everyone got that? Yep. Right. So you need to look at your cards. I'll show you my cards. There you go. There are my cards. Now, can you see two cards there where the numbers would add together to make 10? Janetta, which ones can you see? Eight and two. Eight and two. Right. I can take out the eight and the two. And I've now made another pile, which is my pairs pile. My pairs pile. The eight and two go in the pairs pile because they make 10. Right, I'm gonna have another look. Can you see any more pairs that make 10? Oh, can you have three cards? No, you have to have two cards in this game, James. Sorry, I like what you're doing, but not this time. Right, so you guys look through your cards. Can you find any pairs that make 10? Yeah. Okay, James, what have you got? I've got six and four. Oh my goodness, you've cheated. 
I got five and five. Yeah. Now the ace counts as one because there's one dot on it. Is that right? That's right. Excellent. Nine and one. And I've got one card left. Brilliant. So how many pairs to ten have you got, James? I've got three. Three. I think James cheated at the start. That if I really knew cool. the rules, I would have, but I didn't know the rules. Oh, okay. We'll let you off. Janetta, have you got any pairs to ten? I have. Oh, you've got eight and two. Brilliant. Alice, did you get any pairs to ten? Two. I have six and four. Brilliant. And I have seven and three. Brilliant. Put those down in your pairs pile then. Now, what you now need to do is try and get a new card that will match one of the cards that you've got. And you've got to ask someone else playing the game, if they've got the card that you want. Now, if you were playing this, if we were playing this in the same room, and I asked James, so I've got a six here, I would ask James if he had a four. If we were playing in the same room, he'd give me his four. But, well, if he had one. But because we're not in the same room, we're gonna to have to do it a little bit differently. So I'm gonna look at my cards I'm going to cheat a little bit because I know James hasn't got a four. So I'm going to say, Janetta, do you have a four? Go fish. Oh, go fish. It's a bit rude. Oh, yeah, that's what you say. If you haven't got the number that the other person wants, then you can say, go fish. Right. So she didn't have a four. My turn is over and I have to pick up a card from my discard pile, the extra cards I had at the start and add it to my hand. So I've now got an extra card. Right, James. You can choose someone to ask. Janetta, do you have a five? Do you want the game to go on a bit longer? <laughs> I want to win. Well, yes, I do, James. All oh, <laughs> right, James. So you can... <laughs> James, you can put that in your pairs pile now. It's in. And you've won. Congratulations. But we can carry on playing. Janetta, you have to put that in your discard pile. All right? And uh, we'll let you have a go now, Janetta. Okay. Nathan, do you have a seven? I do have a seven. Yeah. What have you got then? I've got a three. Oh, yeah, seven and three. That will go in my pile. My discard pile. Right, Alice, you'll go. Janetta, do you have a two? I do. And I have an eight, if you can see that. Excellent. Alice, you put that in your pairs pile, Janetta in your discard pile. Right, my go. I'm going to say, Alice, do you have an ace or a one? Yes. Yes. And I've got a nine, so I can put that in my pairs pile. You can put that in your discard pile. Right, uh, Janetta, you'll go. Nathan, do you have a nine? Oh, go fish. I enjoyed saying that. I got a pair from it. Oh, well, that's good then. Everyone's happy. Brilliant. Right, Alice, you'll go. Nathan, do you have a five? Go fish again. Sorry, you've got to pick up an extra card. Right, my go. Um, Janetta, do you have an eight? Go fish. Oh. I saw that. Janetta, you'll go. Um, Alice, have you got a nine? Go fish. Oh. Alice, you'll go. Janetta, do you have a five? Go fish. Oh. Pick up that extra card, Alice. Yeah. Don't Is forget that you are cheating. Right, um, Alice, do you have a four? Go fish. Oh. oh, I've got loads of cards. Janetta. Nathan, do you have a six? I do have a six. You must have a four, yeah. I do. Well done. Alice. 
Um, Janetta, do you have a nine? Try fish. Right. Um, oh, I know. Because Alice asked for a nine, I know she must have. Alice, do you have a one, an ace? Yes. Yes, and I've got a nine. Brilliant, that goes in my pairs pile. Janetta, you'll go. There's no point me asking either of you, though. Oh. But you they have all picked up. Oh, God. Yes, but Nathan's just asked Alice if, she, Alice if she's got an ace. Oh. I'll try, Alice. Alice, do you have a nine? Go fish. I told you. Uh, she I'll try that. Nathan, do you have an eight? Go fish. Ah. Pick up that card. <laughs> um, Alice, do you have a two? No, yeah. I don't want a two. Why did I ask you for a two? I don't know the rules anymore. It's cheating. That's right. That's, I just lose my turn. I'll pick up another card. Do you know what though, Nathan? Alice, do you have a two? Thanks. No. I'm a mind reader, James. Um, Good. Nathan, do you have a five? Go fish. <laughs> um, Janetta, do you have a four? Go fish. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Nathan, do you have an ace, a one? No, go fish. I didn't ask for that. Never mind. Nathan, do you have a three? Go fish. Oh, what do you have? I've got pretty much all the same card. About 10 of them. Right. Um, Janetta, do you have an eight? Go fish. Oh. oh, but I did find a pair. I have a six and a four makes a pair. I'm putting them in my pair pile. So we could carry on playing this game for ages, um, but we won't. But hopefully you get the idea of the game. Good way of practicing your uh, number bonds to 10. You could do number bonds to nine or eight or seven by taking more cards out. As James said, you could end up with three cards that would make 10. So I could have a six and a two and a two that would make 10. You can change the rules however you want. But it's a really fun game and you can play it over Zoom or you can play it in your house. Hope that you've enjoyed that game. Alice is going to say goodbye. Janetta's going to say goodbye. Bye. James is going to say goodbye. Bye. And well done, James, for winning. And uh, I'm going to say goodbye, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye, everyone.